Dear viewers, you are welcome once again to our daily meditations from the weekly Bible lessons of the Methodist Church Ghana. This week we've been looking at prayer and today we shall look at the third step in our acronym for prayer, ACTS, ACTS. And the third step in our acronym is Thanksgiving, T for Thanksgiving. In the model prayer taught us by our Lord Jesus himself, hallowed be thy name, both leads us to confess our sins as well as give praise and worship to our God. Hallowed be thy name, your name is holy, makes us aware of our own shortcomings, conscious of our sinfulness, that we are merely human. So hallowed be thy name both leads us to confess our sins and at the same time, it is us to give praise and thanksgiving to God, to worship, adore His holy name. Therefore, our topic for this third day of our meditations on prayer is thanksgiving. We are looking at praise and worship as divine weapons for pulling down strongholds. Amen. Now, a very compelling Christian material which emerged in the late 70s and early 80s is Merlin Caruthers Praise Series. From Prison to Praise, This Praise Works, and the sequels, which became best sellers. In these books, the author shares compelling testimonies, which attest to the power of praise and thanksgiving as effective means of reaching the throne of grace and accessing God's mighty interventions in the affairs of men. St. Paul urges do not be anxious about anything but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving by prayer and petition with thanksgiving present your request to god philippians chapter 4 and verse 6. saint paul further exalts us rejoice always or as in the philippian epistle rejoice in the lord always not sometimes but always Pray continually, or in the older versions, pray without season. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God. This is, the, this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Give thanks in all circumstances, not sometimes, not when it is fair weather. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 and 17. Dear viewers, we are urged to give thanks in every situation, all the time, for everything, even for what may seem adverse. This attitude of constant thanksgiving to God in all circumstances may also be premised on the revelation that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, those who have been called according to His purpose. Romans chapter 8, verse 28. The King James Version gives an, an even more powerful slant. All things work together for good to them that love God. Those who have yielded their lives to God, those who are in fellowship with God, says all things work together for their good. And because all things work together for our good, because we love God, because we are devoted to God, therefore, in every situation, no matter what it is, we are able to say, thank you, God. We are able to give thanks. We are able to rejoice at all times. Rejoice in the Lord. All things work together for good, or not some. So for the child of God, nothing happens to us outside the control or the purview of the Almighty God and Heavenly Father. We are always absolutely under the banner of God even in happenings that may seem adverse or unfavorable. Perhaps it is the story of Joseph in the Old Testament which best illustrates this. Who would have thought that the calamities which befell Joseph could lead to his becoming the Prime Minister of Egypt? So saying thank you to God no matter the circumstance of our lives affirms our confidence in the power of God to deliver. Thanksgiving in all circumstances demonstrates our faith in God. And God honors such resounding faith. Thanksgiving opens the doors of heaven to us. Thanksgiving places God. There is a sense in which 
thanksgiving is the highest form of worship. There is a sense in which thanksgiving is the highest form of worship. The psalmist urges us to enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. Hallelujah. Psalm 100 and verse 4. This is rendered in the popular chorus, which says, I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Friends, our best-selling author Merlin Caruthers shares several testimonies in his books to demonstrate that God moves on behalf of his children when they approach him in praise and thanksgiving. He shares testimonies of great deliverances. He shares testimonies of healings. He shares testimonies of miraculous interventions in the lives of men when the children of God simply entered into the secrets of worshiping God in praise and thanksgiving. Merlin draws our attention to the fact that in the biblical account of the capturing of Jericho by Joshua and his forces, they did not win the war crying to God for his intervention. And it was not through any skillful military maneuvers. They were simply asked to march around the wall of Jericho, blowing their trumpets in praise to God. It was at the shout of praise and the blowing of the trumpets of praise to God on the seventh day of their marching around the walls of Jericho that the wall collapsed. Let us look at the account in Joshua chapter 6. And dear viewers, I'll ask you to take time to read this amazing account of the fall of Jericho. The seventh time around, when the priests sounded their trumpet blast, Joshua commanded the army, Shout, for the Lord has given the city. The city and all that is in it are to be devoted to the Lord. Only Rahab, the prostitute, and all who were with her in the house shall be spared, because she hid the spies we sent. But keep away from the devoted things, so that you will, not bring, you will not bring about your own destruction by taking any of them. Otherwise, you will make the camp of Israel liable to destruction and bring trouble on us. All the silver and the gold and the articles of bronze and iron are sacred to the Lord and must go into his treasury. When the trumpet sounded, the army shouted, and at the sound of the trumpet, when the men gave a loud shout, the wall collapsed. So everyone charged straight in, and they took the city. Hallelujah. Dear viewer, as you raise your shouts of praise to God in your prayers, even right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, may every citadel of the evil one, every wall of blockade in your way to the inheritance of God's blessings upon your life, may they be brought down, even right now, in the name of Jesus. May you receive healing in your whole being. May you receive healing in your body, healing in your spirit, healing in your mind, healing in your soul right now in the mighty name of Jesus. May you receive healing in your finances. May you receive healing in your marriage life. May you receive healing in all your life circumstances, in your work, in your home, in your family, the nuclear and the extended family, in all areas of your life right now in the name of Jesus. And the popular chorus says, My God is able, He's able, my God is able. Oh, yes, my God is able to carry me through. He healed the brokenhearted, He set the captives free. He healed the sick, raised the dead, and walked upon the sea. My God is able, He's able, my God is able. Oh, yes, my God is able to carry me through. Dear viewers, the secrets of praising God in all circumstances, the secret is beautifully captured for us by Nahum Tat and Nicholas Brady in the well-known Methodist hymn numbered 427 in our hymn book. Through all 
the changing scenes of life in trouble and in joy the praises of my god shall steal my heart and tongue employ of his deliverance i will boast till all that i had distressed from my example come for take and charm their griefs to rest O oh, magnify the lord with me with me exalt his name when in distress to him I called he to my rescue came the host of God and come around the dwelling so of the just deliverance he affords to all who on his sacro trust who make but try of his love experience we will decide how blessed they are and holy they who in his truth confide fear him ye saints and you who will then have nothing else to fear make you he said your delight he'll make your wants his care the hymn is captures the secret of praise and thanksgiving in all circumstances so it says through all the changing things of life whether in times of trouble or in times when you have joy the praises of my god shall still employ my heart and my tongue i will boast of his deliverance till all who are distressed take comfort from my example and charm their griefs to rest the hymn says, Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Exalt his name with me. Because when in distress I called to him, and my God came to my rescue. This day, dear viewer, I wish you the same rescue, the same salvation. May you receive your breakthrough in every situation of life as you constantly lift up your heart and your voice in constant praise, adoration, and thanksgiving to our living God. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for a time like this when we can hear your word exhorting us to always come into your presence with thanksgiving in our hearts. I pray for my viewers this day. I pray for my viewers that you sow into their hearts the spirit of thanksgiving. That faith which is able to say, Thank you, Lord, no matter their circumstances. Whatever your children, are going through in this moment as we pray for them Lord fill their hearts with the joy of your salvation and cause them to lift a shout of praise and may every war of destruction in their lives collapse to the glory of your holy name receive your blessings in the name of the triune God the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit Amen, Amen.